Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have 3 minus 2 to the power of n is equal to n square. And we will solve this problem for the values of n. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we will rearrange this equation as uh, here we can just uh, move this uh, uh, 2 to the power of n in the right hand side and we move this n square in the left hand side and we will write it as 3 minus n square is equal to 2 to the power of n so now in the next step we will make little bit simplifications in the left hand side and we can just write it as here you have only 3 and we can write it as 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and its whole square because here you see that when we multiply these two exponents so this 2 is cancelled by this 2 and you will again get 3 so that we will write this 3 in this form and here we have minus n square equals to 2 to the power of n we can write it as it is and now in the next step you can uh, just uh, focus in the left hand side and here you see that we have a squared minus b squared form and you know that if we have a squared minus b squared is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we will use here this nice formula in the above term uh, of the left hand side so that its left hand side will becomes in the form of 3 to the power of 1 over 2 minus n into 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus n and this whole equation is equals to 2 to the power of n so when you can compare this left hand side here then you see that this is the value of a and n be the value of b so now you can just put the values of a and b in this formula then you will easily get its output in this form so now again you can focus in the left hand side and here you have two factors which is multiplied by each other and in the, in the right hand side you have only one factor so now we can make uh, two factors in the right hand side and uh, we can uh, uh, write this factor in the form of 3 to the power of 1 over 2 minus n into 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus n and this whole is equals to here we can multiply this by 1 because you can easily multiply 1 on everything or any number so we can multiply 1 by 2 to the power of n you can just uh, rewrite this 2 to the power of n as 1 times of 2 to the power of n and now we will compare both of the sides and here you see that 3 to the power of 1 over 2 minus n is less than 3 to the power 1 over 2 plus n and similarly you will see here this one is less than or equals to 2 to the power of n so when you compare both of the sides you will equate the lesser terms and greater terms so by comparing both of the sides we will easily write 3 to the power of 1 over 2 minus n is equals to 1 and 3 to the power of 1 over 2 plus n is equals to 2 to the power of n so uh, here we have these two equations and now we can solve these two equations and we will find the values of n so now you will focus here when we add these two equations then we will easily uh, eliminate this n in the left hand side and you can easily get uh, the n on the right hand side so that here we just uh, add equation number one 
and 2 so when you add these two equations then you will see that we will easily cancel these two terms and we add these two terms here and you obtain 2 times of 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and this equals to 1 plus 2 to the power of n and now here we make uh, little bit simplifications here in the left hand side and uh, now first you will find the square root or 3 to the power 1 over 2 by using the calculator or you can easily find it by manually so that you will just write this 3 to the power 1 over 2 equals to 1.7320 this is the uh, you will see that the square root of 3 equals to 1.7320 we will use this value here in this form okay so that we move this one from right hand side to the left hand side and we write minus 1 equal to 2 to the power of n and now uh, when you multiply this 2 by 1.7320 then uh, you will get its output in the form of um, 3.464 minus 1 equals to 2 to the power of n and now we again simplify the term when you subtract these here then you get 2.6 464 equals to 2 to the power of n and uh, in this problem we need to find the value of n so that here we take log on both of the sides so when you take log on both of the sides then you will get its output in this form log of 2 to the power of n and now here we can use the property of logarithm so according to the property of logarithm we will just move this n in the front of this log and you write n times of log 2 equals to log 2.464 and you know that the value of log 2.464 equals to 0. 3916 and uh, we will easily find the value of log 2 and you know that log 2 equals to 0 0.3010 and it is equals to 0 0.3916 so here you can just move the 0.3010 on the right hand side and you will get 0.3916 and this whole over 0.3010 so when you divide these both terms then finally you will get here our answer is n is equals to 1.3 so n is equals to 1.3 be the final answer of this problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos